this is Renee, and welcome to my own little world. It is time for another Plan With Me video. And this time it's for the month of September. And as I finished all of the BT21 characters, because I did them all for all of the themes in this year so far, I decided to go with an unmatched socks theme, which might sound weird, but I will tell you why I chose this theme later in this video. And I'm going to use my stamps a lot in this video and some memo sheets and also some washi tape. As I said, I went with an unmatched sock theme and I chose that theme on purpose because in the Netherlands unmatched socks uh, represent and symbolize the daily struggle of people with Alzheimer's disease and that's what I want to talk about today. I also chose this theme in particular uh, for the month of September because September 21st is World Alzheimer's Day. I wanted to create more awareness around this disease because it's not a fun disease. I mean, um, no diseases are fun, basically, but, <laughs> but Alzheimer's disease in particular is um, something that I experienced within the family. One of my loved ones, unfortunately, has Alzheimer's disease, and that's why I decided to create this kind of theme. The monthly overview setup that I am currently making is inspired by Lillian Leathers. She's also a YouTuber and she has an Instagram and I'll link everything down below. So please go check her out. She's also Dutch by the way. But anyways, as I said, the unmatched socks symbolize the daily struggles that someone with Alzheimer's disease has to go through. And if you don't know what Alzheimer's disease is, it's a form of dementia. So it means that you will get forgetful, or at least that is one of the starting points. But there are a lot of stadiums um, that people with Alzheimer's go through. And in the first stadium, you start to get forgetful. Um, but later on, you won't you won't remember any of your family members and a lot of the times someone's character can completely change uh, so their personality changes people have become a sweet tooth while at first they hated everything that was sweet and a lot of your brain functions start to give up on you and people can't talk people can not swallow food very well so or chew so a lot of people have to have everything mixed down to a paste or a shake and the whole disease just sucks but it is one of the diseases that causes the most deaths in the netherlands i am not sure uh, what the death rate is in other countries but in the netherlands it's pretty high and that's why I wanted to talk about it, because I feel like there should be more awareness around this. I feel like a lot of people don't really know what it is, what the disease does. It sometimes frustrates me, because whenever I talk about Alzheimer's, people ask me the question, well, does your loved one still remember you? And that's how they try to measure how far along they are and in which stadium they are basically and that's not the most important thing that my family member still remembers me for me it's more about how comfortable they still are even though they can't do daily things anymore they they don't know how to talk anymore they can't walk anymore it's it's not about if they remember me it's about if they still are comfortable and if they still can smile or laugh alzheimer's disease is i think one of the few 
uh, forms of dementia that doesn't require you to be very old because well a lot of old people of course suffer from all sorts of dementia and there are a lot of kinds of dementia as well but um, Alzheimer's is one of those forms that you don't have to be an old person for to get it basically in the Netherlands it's one out of three women who have or who will get Alzheimer's disease and as a woman <laughs> myself I uh, that scares me a lot I have to be honest with you guys another reason why I chose this theme is because I myself wear non-matched socks or unmatched socks every day Whenever I wear socks, they I make sure that they won't match. And um, it has become kind of my coping mechanism, basically. When the news was out that my loved one couldn't live in their own house anymore with their partner, I got so sad and depressed for a while that I wore unmatching socks not matching socks to kind of cope with it and I basically never stop wearing them. There's this Alzheimer's foundation in the Netherlands that designs Alzheimer's socks every year and sometimes they work together with people that suffer from Alzheimer's disease or no one, no uh, someone that suffers from Alzheimer's disease and they work together with them and sometimes they hire actual designers to design the socks but every year they bring out a new design of Alzheimer's socks that don't match and with every pair of socks that they sell the cost will go to the Alzheimer's foundation in the Netherlands and they will do research for possible medicine and other than that, they just spread a lot of awareness because there are still a lot of people that don't know everything about Alzheimer's disease and I have to admit, I also don't know everything because it's such a difficult and complex disease. Um, but ever since uh, one of my uh, loved ones suffers from it, I have become more aware of it and i started to learn more about it and if you are wondering about the alzheimer's socks i have about five pair right now i think i bought i bought five four or five years worth of alzheimer's socks because <laughs> and I, I wear them daily basically to just support them because it is very important even though the theme is kind of heavy for this month I decided to balance it out by using a lot of bright and fun colors so it would still be a nice fun and playful theme and I would still be reminded of Alzheimer's Day and about September 21st September 21st um, of every year basically is World Alzheimer's Day and of course this day is different for every country in the Netherlands it means that we or at least the people that know about Alzheimer's uh, wear unmatched socks to symbolize the, the daily struggle of a person with Alzheimer's and to show our respect but I heard that the Alzheimer's disease has a ribbon for itself that represents represents Alzheimer's disease and I heard that the color is purple so maybe you could also wear purple on September 21st or just talk about it with people you know or read up on it more or you could donate or you could go to someone who has a family member who has Alzheimer's disease to support them. There's lots of things that you can do basically. And if you would like to know more about Alzheimer's disease, I will link some links with information down below in the description. But about the theme, I decided to incorporate a lot of pictures of course that I got from Pinterest. I decided to tear up the paper instead of cutting it so it looks 
more playful and more fun. I didn't really stick to one color as a theme for this month. I instead decided to just incorporate as much color as I could and are we even surprised at this point that I went with kind of primary colors and <laughs> again? Um, probably not. <laughs> Other than Alzheimer's, I really wanted to talk about other things that will happen when September begins. As some of you might know, I graduated from university and I also managed to get a job. And at the beginning of September, I will start working at that job for four days a week. So I'm not really sure how much I am going to be able to post videos. I know that my schedule is like almost weekly now, but it may become less because I simply don't have a lot of time to edit and to film videos as of now. And we're also going to that time of year again where it gets very dark, very early at the day so that also means that my natural lighting that I use in my videos is going to suck um, so and I don't have the equipment to create another light source I know that a lot of youtubers have ring lights and other equipment to tackle that problem but unfortunately I don't have that and I don't consider myself a very <laughs> a very professional youtuber I just do this as a hobby and I like to inspire people and inform people and just share what I make basically but I promise that I won't let this channel die out that would be a waste and I really like making videos so uh, it would be a shame if I would just stop posting. So this is not the last of me, I promise. Uh, I will continue to make videos but my upload schedule might change a bit.
and here I am writing down Alzheimer's Day in the monthly overview. And I also made my playlist that I do every month even longer because I can't choose between songs anymore. And I don't write down a lot of lyrics, so that's why I decided to give the lyrics part less space. And I decided to make the weekly spreads actually a spread instead of putting one week per page. And that's the end result. I hope you like this video. Stay hydrated, stay tuned and until my next video, bye!